going to show you how to remove the rear side collar on a 1903 Springfield. Pretty easy if you have the right tools. Um, you just need a, some hammers, pin punches, and um, this is a tool I, I've had made. I can sell you one of these. I have them on eBay for sale. But um, This really makes the job easy, but you can find a socket maybe that's the right size but you need to have clearance for the pin um, I'll show you here in a second <clears throat> that's important um, I've heard some people use PVC with success but I would think that wouldn't they got lucky on that but really these tools are what you need to make the job so much better but the key thing to remember is there's two pins that hold this collar on other than being pressed on. You can see there's a pin here. Sometimes these are really hard to find. You gotta put oil on them or something because they put the pins in, ground them, then then parkerized them. And there's also a pin that's in the chamber end here. This one is really hard to see. Usually here on the corner. Um, I can see it. I don't know if you can on the camera, but that goes parallel with the bore to keep the collar from rotating. And this one goes perpendicular, I guess, just to keep it from sliding off. But these are so pr pressed in so hard that when I p replace a collar, I don't repin them. I don't find it necessary for target shooting. I mean, if you were going to storm Guadalcanal or something again with it, maybe maybe it would be um, helpful to have the pin, but um, not necessary. Um, I'm kind of trying to set this up so you can see what I'm doing here. It's going to be kind of hard to do, kind of doing this on the fly. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a starter pin punch and knock this pin out. This is the hardest part, really. Ooh. That one was not that hard. It's very rare. The pin is, punch is too, too large. We'll finish driving this pin out. Let's put this up on the block. Get more clearance. So clear my camera. So there's the pin we just drew out. Now we can use our tool and drive the collar off the barrel. Uh, to do that, I usually just set it here on my shop floor. I have a rubber mat. I'll show you here. But the key is you have to have a cutout in your, your driver. And that gives room for the pin that's here in this corner. So I've marked this and I, I just line it up and drive it off. So, so I set it on there. I use a two pounder it's starting to go the ideal thing would be uh, you had to press press this off but I don't so here it is. That's all it takes to get these off. If you have the right tools. So, here's where I was talking about how they drilled them parallel with the bore. You can see and the pin fell out on the floor. But they, this is a really weird angle 
it's compound and yeah you can never you could never re re-drill this without a jig uh, something to hold your <clears throat> drill bit but here's the pin itself you could see how hard that drives on a little crap there but um yeah that's how simple it is